Life is a precious thing for everyone. Besides its preciousness, it is also very delicate. A man spends a healthy life, always taking care of her diet and exercising to extend the lifespan of his life, but only on small accident can become the reason for his death. All of his care and precautions can waste only a few seconds. That is why life is also called an unexpected thing, whose span cannot be prison set by anyone. Sometimes we can become a source or reason to save someone's life. It may be possible that you were standing on the road and suddenly two cars crashed on the road. Then what should you do? Will you stand up on the footpath and wait for the ambulance? Or will you go to give first aid to the victims of the patient? The second option is the better one than the first does. The question arise that how do you give first aid? Everyone must have the basic knowledge to handle a crisis or any critical conditions like accidents. Unfortunately, most of us do not have this basic information. It is the responsibility of our institutes to give everyone the basic training to handle the emergency. Besides all this ignorance, there are many examples that the people saved the lives of their loved ones without getting emotionally panicked. Today's topic of the story is a part of one of these examples. This is the story of a young girl and her mother. The incident happened when the girl was only five years old and saved her mother's life. It sounds incredible that the little girl knew how to handle the emergency. It was about four years ago when it was the season of summer, and it was too hot. Tracy Anderbold decided to go to the pool to swim. She also took her daughter to the pool they were residents of Poland, Texas. She opted to cool off somewhere in the family, pool to avoid the heat. Her daughter was only five years old at that time, and her name was Allison. She was a sharp girl and mostly remained quiet. Did not talk much, her mother thought she was an underconfident girl who was shy to talk as normal. The mother and daughter enjoyed a great day in the pool. They bathed, laughed, and parted, as if there was no tomorrow. They were enjoying a lot by bathing in the hot season. This time of happiness was for only a short time. It disappeared in a few minutes. No one could have predicted that their enjoyment in the pool would start into a terrible catastrophe. Tracy Anderwood had a disease of epilepsy, which means having abnormal electrical brain activity. She had faces of disturbing behavior feelings and sometimes even loss of consciousness. On that day, during swimming, she had an attack of epilepsy. She blacked out and fell into the pool. Dazed, Tracy's head was submerged beneath the surface. The last thing she remembered was that she was dying in the water and was in a lot of pain. The miracle happened that she did not die. She was lying in a bed at Krista's Spawn Hospital Memorial in Portland. When she awakened, she had no idea why she was lying there. She even took some time to understand that she was not dead. She was alive and lying on the hospital bed. She was also astonished at her. She was alive. On the other hand, the family had put a surveillance camera by the pool, and Tracy couldn't believe her eyes when she viewed the tape. Allison, who was five years old, played the role of a little angel that day she saved her mother's life. Allison rushed to the bottom of the pool when Tracy appeared unresponsive and dragged her mother to the shallow end of the pool, keeping her mother's head above water. The incident was never expected by anyone, even her mother, who thought that her daughter was very underconfident. Then she dashed back inside and yelled for rescue. Tracy would also have succumbed if she had been underwater just for a few seconds longer. Allison was brought to the hospital and had no idea what happened. When she awoke, Tracy Anderwood gave an interview to the Caller Times. According to Tracy, I was bewildered. They didn't inform me about it for a time. Tracy's sister, Tedra, finally told her what had transpired after recovering Allison, who is five years old, called her Aunt Tendra, for assistance once she and her mother were on dry land. Tedra called immediately to the ambulance at 911. Tracy's sister, Tedra, told her mother about Allison's extraordinary actions. That was something Allison was able to do on her own. As a result, it's a miracle Allison remained composed throughout. She was attempting to tell me what had happened. Tedra explained Allison has loved swimming since she was three years old. She had no idea her mother had had a seizure, but she had a gut feeling that something wasn't right. 
when she saw her mother lying lifeless in the water. It's incredible. She even knew what to do. Tracy added seizures, unfortunately, can strike anyone in the wrong situation. I believe we all have a responsibility to act like Allison. If someone appears to be experiencing a problem and needs assistance for this, it is the responsibility of everyone to take training sessions on first aid. If you do not know how to save someone or give emergency assistance, no matter how many degrees you have, it all goes to waste. Isn't this five-year-old deserving of a big gold star for her prop response?